So let's first save this here as um, QM quadrature modulation dot M <coughs> and um, create a new MATLAB file. So the what we need to do is that we that we now need to need to um, split the stream up here, this bit stream, that one one of them is in the real part and the next one is in the imaginary part. Let's just um, show that here. So if we have our serialized bit stream, so that's our image here. And remember, this is um, serialized into 0, 1, 1, 0, so in this bit stream here. So what we do now is that in the quadrature modulation we've got the real and the imaginary part. So we put this into the real part, this into the imaginary part, real, imaginary, and so on. And so what we need to do is, so the loop which is running through these numbers need to run in steps of two and then just um, popping this this number into the real part and this in the in the imaginary and then this turns into our cosine term here and this turns into our our sine term and this into our cosine and to in, into our sine term so let's um, let's do this here in the code and um, this I tell you already now that this won't go without debugging because it's um, obviously quite a lot of reshuffling of indices. So here we've got our bitstream. And um, so remember, so we need to, this bitstream, we need to split this up into real and um, imaginary. Okay, so, so what we need to do is here we need to run the loop in steps of two. And um, and now we need to have um, so essentially a real part and, and an imaginary part. So let's call this here symbol R for real part, and let's call this here symbol I for the imaginary part. So this is running in two steps. So and therefore this one is here the uh, the second step. And let's just call this here here plus zero. So if we if we go back to our to our drawing here, then this is our our index our index number plus zero and that's plus one and then this is here again plus zero and that's plus one and so on in terms of the of the index. Let's go go back to our to our code. So zero and one, and so hopefully this will work. Um, and so we are sampling the bitstream here in steps of two. And um, so now we need to create our our actual symbol, which is in this case here the combination of of the cosine and the sine term. So that symbol R is our is our cosine term here this one and then we've got our sine term 2 pi ft so that's and this multiplied by symbol symbol i yeah so with that we have generated our signal here so then we just need to Need to also create our padding again here. Just for the filter at the end. And so with that we should have generated our quadrature signal. Oops. Plot QM signal. So here we've got clearly a signal. It's obviously hard to hard to see if this is correct or not, and we only see this once we've demodulated it. 
So now we just need to need to run the demodulation. So now now demodulation is a bit a bit more involved here because now we need to create also two carriers to demodulate this. So we need to create the cosine carrier and the sine carrier for the demodulation again. Just to recap with that, um, so we've got our our aerial here, and um, in this case, obviously, it's just directly demodulated again in our MATLAB program. So we've got our receiver here, and um, so if we multiply this with our cosine 2 pi ft and do a low pass filter, then we're getting our real part out there. And um, so if we do the same and multiplying this with our sine part, sine 2 pi ft and low pass, then we're getting our imaginary part out there and so so we need to do this in the code so let's get our octave screen back back on here so here we go um, <coughs> and so so this is essentially now happened what I've just done here so we've got our um, the real part, the mixed one, and then, then we also need to need to create two filter pathways. Yeah, so we have our low pass filter for the real part and low pass filter for the imaginary one. And so, so this uh, um, the filter design itself stays the same, but we have two pathways: so LP demod R and LP the mod i and um, and so then the mixer is here mixer r and this is mixer i and um, piecing everything together to our pac-man image so we have a similar loop as at the top so we just need to need to also run this loop by piecing together these bits into into one bit stream and so if we have here our our values, so we send send these ones through through a threshold, and then after after that we assemble them together into our bit stream and um, piece them together to our to our image. So again, we need to do a step width of two. Because we are, we have our real and imaginary part. So the sampling point, where we are sampling our our bits, is hopefully the same. It might be slightly shifted because now the timing is much more, much more critical. So here we've got our threshold here. So now we need to double this and this here up. The way we've done this in the transmitter side. And what we can do is we can directly store this in our in our image. So now we have got L remember LPD mod real. So that's the that's the first one. So we're checking this and um, we're checking if it's black or white. So we're storing this into our image. And then we move on to our imaginary part. This one. Again, checking if it's black or white, and we just we just loop through the whole through the whole image here. And um, okay, let's just fi quickly fix a couple of um, mistakes here. These were just leftovers from our pulse modulated signals, uh, phase modulated signal, and. Um, they were just staying in memory and um, gave this surprise here. Let's see, let's see if this works better now. And there the carrier was not set properly. So run this again. Again, this is just this omission. Obviously, our index is now has to be divided by factor 2 
because we're transmitting two two bits per sample here. Okay, so let's save that and hope this is running now. So now it's running. So let's see where our image show is and let's see if this now looks better. That already looks like a near like a Pac-Man, but it's slightly shifted. And so so therefore we need to change our sampling time. So now so now the um delay so the the phase delay of our filter here or um, the group delay of our filter plays a role now because everything is a bit more tighter. So let's try out a quarter and um rerun this again and show our our image which is there and that looks like a like a perfect Pac-Man after a couple of debugging steps.